So in the last video we looked at variables and variable types and in the previous video we looked at uh, printing but what about if we want to do uh, something like this? What about if you want to say score equals 10 and then we want to print your oh, or even just score equals and then uh, score. Okay, so when I run this program, what it's going to do is going to print score equals 10. Now, I might not want that space there. So what about if I don't want that space? So I can use a comma to combine information of different types, but if I use plus, it won't give me the space, but equally, it will give me an error. So one of the things that we can do is we can check the type. We looked at using the type command. So we can say, what's the type of score? Okay, that's an integer. What's the type of the word score, uh, which is string? But these types are also commands. So they can be used to force a variable or type of information to become a different type. So obviously that doesn't always work. You can't turn a word into a number, but you can turn a number into a word. So if I have one, two, three, so if I say, um, yeah, so score equals one, two, three, for example, if I look at score, it says one, two, three. If I say score, if remember we want to store some text, we put it in speech marks. So if I say that, and I look at the value of score, it shows me with the speech marks, or it uses apostrophes in this case. So what about if I want to take a number and I want to turn it into text? So the first time my score was a number, the second time it was text. If I'm doing the result of a calculation, I can only do calculations with numbers, but what about if I want that then to become text, um, as I do in this case? So what you can do is you can use these commands to convert. So I can say, um, one, two, three is just one, two, three. If I say string one, two, three, then it becomes text. So that's quite useful in situations like this. So I can say plus, and I can convert that to a string using the str command. And now when I run that, even though I've got a plus with two different types of information, it combines them. So we can force Python to use a particular type for a particular value by using those type uh, abbreviations. So str, int, um, float, and probably not going to use bool so much. But the, the numbers um, also have other uses. So if you say int, so 12.123.456, for example, or 567, if you can't type like me, um, int also has the... Um, the function of rounding. But notice that it rounds down. So what int does, it doesn't really round in the same sense as you would do in your maths book. So 123.567, you would round up to 124, um, but it doesn't round, it chops off. It, uh, in um, computer science, we call that truncates, so it just literally stops after uh, uh, the decimal point. Um, you can go, go the other way. So if you say float two, for example, it becomes 2.0. So all it does is add some um, zeros on the end. So there's less of a need for that these days. Um, because uh, Python 2, it was useful. So remember in the previous video, I said if you did something like that in Python 2, it would give you the wrong answer. It would say 1. However, if you did that, it would give you the right answer. So you could use um, float to force um, the use of floating point numbers in some calculations if you want that extra accuracy. So that's um, what we call, um, so ge in general terms, it's called um, casting, which is um, turning one type into another. You might also see the term coercion, which is also the idea of using one type to represent another type of information. So it's most useful for turning numbers into strings if you want to combine them with other words, but it can also be used for things like um, turning numbers into whole numbers. So sometimes you need a whole number, 
So if you want to repeat something a number of times, you couldn't repeat something 123.567 times, we need to round that off. So that can be useful for that kind of thing as well.